Hey, Grammy viewers, my name is Jesse, and we're here with U of A Engineering Admission Reviews. So we're all going to talk about the academics, admissions, student life, and funding in this video. So if you have any questions, you can check the timestamps in the description below to skip to a topic or question that you wanted to get answered. Starting with academic, what are the career opportunities like for U of A engineering students? 42% of all engineering students at U of A get a play co-op placement after the first year. In addition, there are a ton of job opportunities posted on the Campus Bridge directory that are only available for U of A students. So make sure you check and use those resources out and apply to as many jobs and co-ops as possible during your term to build up a practical resume. The starting salary for U of A engineering students with a few years of experience behind their back or a few co-ops or internship ranges from $70,000 to $80,000. But if you're in U of A's top engineering program, the Petroleum Engineering program, you can even potentially look for opportunities that range from $90,000 to $100,000. Yes, the U of A has exchanges. They have exchanges in all over the world, in Asia, in Europe, in Africa. They have many, many nice uh, opportunities all over the world, and these are done through internships, co-ops, program-led, or even specific semester exchanges that you can apply for on their website. For courses and electives, Generally, for most engineering programs in general in Canada, that are quite fixed. So I'm going to put up on the screen right now the courses that you need to take as an engineering student at the U of A. Jumping into the next topic, let's talk a little bit about admissions. So for requirements, they look at your top five courses in high school. So this is in your final year in grade 12, and they look at math, they look at calculus, chemistry, physics, and English. And if you don't have those grade 12 marks yet in the first semester when you apply, they do sometimes look at your grade 11 marks in the similar area. The University of Alberta Engineering, they weigh your application solely on your grades. So make sure you have a good top five average and make sure those marks are high as possible to increase your chances to get into U of A Engineering. Generally, the admission average for U of A Engineering ranges from the low 80s to the high 80s. But definitely, if you want a better chance of getting into U of A engineering, I'd recommend aiming for a 90 plus average and it drastically increases your chances and you might even qualify for some scholarships as well. Okay, let's talk about some student life. So first topic about residences. Lister Hall is the traditional first year residence and then Peter Lougheed is also a traditional residence, but it's a little bit on the newer side. So definitely if students want a newer building, they should try to get Peter Lougheed, but definitely it costs a little bit extra. In addition to traditional reses, on the east side of campus, there are also townhouse residences. They're called Alder and Linden House, and they're more of like a neighborhood style residence. And they're on the east side of campus, or a little bit far away from campus, but you definitely get the privacy and nature on your side. So for U of A engineering, there are two types of meal plans. There's residence meal plans and voluntary meal plans. For residence meal plans, it's in the name, it's your residence, and you just get unlimited food. Uh, and you pay for it in your residence. And for the voluntary meal plan, it's better for off-campus or even the uh, east side of campus residences like Lister and Alder Hall, uh, Alden House. And these are voluntary. So you can buy an X amount of meals and then you can refill it at any time. There are three libraries on campus. There is the Cameron Library, there's the Ruther Ford Library, and there's the Scott Library. The Cameron one is for sciences and business. Social sciences is Ruther Ford, and then Scott is for health sciences. So these libraries are not all open 24 hours, they're only open during the day from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. So if you need to do some late night studying, unfortunately the libraries are closed, you'd have to study in a different spot or in your dorm. For clubs, there are over 250 clubs at the University of Alberta. So it's whether that's discovering a new interest or hobby or joining a club for an existing hobby, you can definitely make some new friends and some lifetime long connections. Now onto the topic of funding, let's first talk about the program tuition. For domestic students, Yearly tuition is $6,000, and for international students, it's quite a little bit more. It's around $35,000. In addition, there are a lot of scholarships that the U of A offers to try to tackle the high tuition costs for international students and domestic students, such as the Gold Standard Scholarship, which is the top 5% of applicants with the highest average. They get $6,000. And then in addition, there's the National Achievement Top Out of Province student gets $30,000, and these are all automatic entrance scholarships that you apply for. There's the Discover U of A award for 30 students, and this is $8,000 a year renewable 
for your undergrad uh, degree. Those are your automatic scholarships, but there are some application scholarships as well, but make sure you apply to these early because they are first come first serve. So these application-based scholarships can range up to $5,000 and they depend on your average. And there's also like APIB um, scholarships and there's also leadership scholarships. There's a lot of different scholarships that you can look for and they're all in the U of A website. So make sure you check those out and apply early. For financial aid, the University of Alberta offers full-time students with decent grades uh, to apply and provide an assessment form to have grants and bursaries that they don't need to pay back. And these are on application basis and on a financial need basis as well. The second type of financial aid is called emergency loans. So if you're displaced financially and you can prove that to the University of Alberta, they'll give you a six month period loan that is up to renewable if you were to contact them and it's application based by base, case by case basis. And these are loans that you do need to pay back. And that comes to the end of our video of U of A engineering admission review. So hopefully you guys learned something and some tips about the application and scholarships. But if you're interested in scholarships or learning more how to apply, take our quiz down below. And if you're interested in applying to the University of Alberta engineering program or any program in specific, we have an admission quiz down in the description below. Make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Thank you for watching Grant Me, and we'll see you next time.